Okay guys, so let's take a little bit of time and talk about Ghost Rider and the possible effect he could have on the entirety of the MCU, but particularly the TV side and aspect of it. Now obviously we knew that Ghost Rider would be coming to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the fourth season. And of course, right off the bat they announced that he would be very early on in the television series, of course appearing in the first episode. Now how long his role is going to last in this, no one really knows, we're suspecting it's probably going to be to the mid-season part, which is usually the 10th to 12th episode. But recently at New York Comic Con, the actor Gabriel Luna, who of course plays the actual Ghost Rider on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., has went on and given a few insights on when we might see the Ghost Rider after that point. Now obviously there is a few things to talk about first before we get to that. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has been a huge success for ABC. Now granted the first season did turn a lot of people away, a lot of people got on board with the second season, third season got a whole lot of love, and the fourth season, despite doing not so well when it actually airs, when you consider the DVR playbacks and everything, it's still a high-rated show. Now, in my mind, I've always said I hate it when TV series do more than four seasons. They just kind of start repeating and they kind of drag their feet. And I honestly feel the same way about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And a lot of you guys know I love Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and it's one of my favorite TV series that's currently going on because the character complexity and depth, but I feel that it would be time to end it. And I've said for a while that I believe that the fourth season is going to be the end of it. Well, Gabriel Luna during the interview was asked, what about the possibility of a Ghost Rider spin-off somewhere down the line? And he replied, you know, there's been some rumblings about that. It depends how much you guys love it. If you love it, we'll make it. Now, let's be real here. Let's look at the history and why I think this is going to happen. Uh, when you look at Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it draws in money. It has advertisers and it's doing good. But it's getting to this point where they try to spin it off and they said, well, this felt too much like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We don't want that. If Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to end, which I think it will because it's going to hit syndication numbers really soon at the end of the season, that means they can give it to other stations and make money off replays and things like that. I think that's going to happen, but when you look at the direction the MCU is going, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. don't really fit into that mold when you look at it. I mean, the rumors are that S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to be exposed right back to the world as a new organization. They're hinting towards that in the actual TV series. It sounds like they're going to do that for the movies. So it would make sense that you get the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., maybe work them off and make them, you know, have small cameos in the movies here and there, or maybe even appear in the Netflix series or Netflix characters appear in here. But when you think about how they're doing this, Ghost Rider lies with the future of Marvel on TV. They're going to be doing Cloak and Dagger on ABC Freeform. That's not ABC. Once you remove Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., what do you have for next year? You don't have anything. And let's be real. Marvel needs a TV series. They need two TV series. They need even three. They have, you know, Damage Control in the development. They have Cloak and Dagger. But you need something of Marvel name on your main station. And Disney would want ABC to have that. So I honestly think we're going to be getting a Ghost Rider series. It's just a matter of time. And you're probably going to hear about it in, I would say, May, maybe April. Because that's when the you know Television and Critics Association happens. That's when they announce what's renewed, what's canceled. And I honestly believe they're going to announce the end of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. this January. So they can wrap up the season. And then they're going to announce a brand new Ghost Rider series that spring once the finale is coming. So I'm honestly psyched. Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's had a good run. A lot of people are going to remember some of the great action and great storytelling and characters they've developed. And it's time to go darker. And what better way to do it than Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider.